We're here in Germany, and just a few weeks ago in this beautiful, picturesque city, this river that's just here to uh, to my left just overflowed the banks and created massive devastation. Over 200 people in this broader region died, and many, many homes were destroyed. And yet David here is pastoring in the midst of this ongoing crisis. And David, what does it mean to pastor in a city that's experienced a flood? First of all, thank you very much, Brother Elijah Brown. Thank you very much to being here in this town. You see all this. And for me, it's a new situation. I never had it before. I, it's my first experience. And I would say that you are here. It is a great privilege and a help. And that you talk with me in this situation, in this place, It's a great, great honor. Thank you very much. Well, David's here. He's planning a church. They've got cell groups all over the city. So, David, tell us, how can we pray for you? How can we pray for your church? We need wisdom. What do, shall we do now in this day and then tomorrow and then the day after? What shall we do? Because some weeks later, they would, would have a uh, heater and they would have eating, drink and all this and they would close the door. Now the door is open and the spiritual door is also open and we need wisdom and boldness to use this moment. David, I'm, I was really touched. We just met with some of the leaders in your small group and I asked that question, how can we pray for you? And a, a woman who's in her 80s said, pray that God would use this moment for revival. So, David, I want you to know that the Baptist World Alliance and brothers and sisters from all around the world will be praying for wisdom for you and revival in this city and in this region. Thank you for what you're doing to serve the Lord here. Thank you very much. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you. So join with us in praying for David and for this area in Germany. God bless you.